I think you've got some great ideas, Vince. Uh, share them with us. Thank you, David. Well, I've always felt that the antiques business, generally speaking, tends to be very much based upon, um, how can I put it, more mature people. Older getting... people, Vince. <laughs> it's I'm just the way polite, it is. David, you know. Um, people get, getting involved, most of them, uh, the dealers, tend to start off, it starts off as a bit of a hobby, then it becomes more of a, a passion, and it goes on and on from there. And then what you tend to find is that people will um, get into a shop, they come into a shop, they start working in here, uh, and they go from there. And obviously with us having three shops already and a fourth one coming online soon. Oh, you do have a fourth one? Yes, we have a fourth one, yeah, and possibly a fifth one in February. Can you say where yet? Uh, no, I can't, no. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, both, well, thanks for that, Vince. That'll make a great video. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're both currently trading centres, and obviously I don't want people to... I don't want the dealers working in to find right. out from unnecessary methods. Okay, so you've got three branches right now. You want to encourage young people. So what's the deal? How are you bringing well, them in? Well, the, the concept really is the fact that when dealers come in and take a cabinet and they pay for a cabinet, they can have a cabinet in Oxford or in Sidmouth for £10 a month plus one day working in the shop. Okay. Now, the object of the exercise is that ultimately, as we expand dealers get the opportunity to put their stock in other shops quite literally around the country. And, and do you shift it around for them? That's what yes, you help do that? Yes, we take everything, like, we take all the stock down for dealers, we then put it into a cabinet, we photograph the cabinets, send them the picture, we've got stock transfer forms so they transfer all the stock and we're strategically opening branches okay. so that people can transfer their stock into various different shops but only ever go to their local shop. Hang on a minute, but how does this then attract younger people into the business? Well, ultimately, what we'll do is we'll have a succession of shops whereby a young person can come in, work seven days a month, earn a full-time living from it. All right. So it provides them with the opportunity to have uh, a freer life and do more still maintain a level of income so it's like a lifestyle because the antiques business is a lifestyle oh business. very much so yeah, yeah okay so you're introducing this kind of lifestyle business to younger people i suppose it would work with older people but you think younger people are going to be a bit more driven yeah i think so i mean young people are, are, are to if you if you find them a, an interest they become very driven all right uh, and i think that by finding an interest that they've already got or they may not know they've had usually passed down from generations, fathers, grandfathers, mothers, grandmothers, etc. They then start to take up, I mean, we get young people coming here. Uh, we had a, a guy yesterday who sold his Xbox, he's 17. He sold his Xbox to buy a pocket watch. And Fantastic. That, that was his first. Now, in 10 years time, if you come back to him and he's got a shop somewhere or he's a major dealer in something, that's exactly how it started. Okay, so, so because you're expanding your business, what you're doing, you're tapping into the youth and the energy, you're helping them but by giving them discounted deals, but they're also helping drive forward your business because you've got to have that young blood in any business, haven't you? Yeah, very much so, yeah. I mean, the concept of them coming in, working seven days a month potentially, and then uh, having the rest of the month off is ideal for them. Um, we've got an awful lot of stock in here from different dealers, uh, we've got a variety of dealers that now have started to see the concept of having stock in different shops. Very clever. We take it all around the country with us. We take stock from here to Oxford to Sidmouth and from, 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 from Sidmouth back here and to Oxford. Um, all this sort of thing you can see in the cabinets. I mean, m nearly all of these dealers are in our other shops as well. That's a um, very clever concept. One, one, uh, you're a genius for coming up with it. You really are, because the, the antiques business has been suffering from, uh, you know, new blood for a very long time. But when I say new blood, I also mean expert blood. Yeah, You've got to have yeah. proper experts who are driven yeah, and passionate. Yeah. And if you caption young, so yeah, they're helping your business. You're helping them. It's a win-win situation. It's a win-win. I'm loving it. I just <laughs> wish I was, you know, a, a little younger than 32. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you, Vince. All right, David, thank you very much.